the little things that have been taken away from us and assumed as our federal government's responsibility, which is not the case. Um, and for instance, it's my choice to homeschool my children. I don't have to put them in public school. And what will I come up fighting mad if somebody tells me I do? Mm -hmm. Okay? Um, that's my choice. Health issues. If I want to take a vitamin, I am not going to stand by. Wait, somebody, when somebody who doesn't even eat at my dinner table tells me I can't, mm -hmm. I won't do that. So those, those three issues are really big ones for me. And I did, listening to you and, and the other um, panelists here, some of their questions and concerns, caught my attention, and they will tell you. So if you change who you're going to vote for. I do need to leave, but I cannot leave without you guys knowing. I am so for Ron Paul. Oh, God. This isn't funny. Ah, right. oh, look at that. I'm the grand <laughs> prize winner. You yeah. win. Uh, what is this? Ron, Ron Paul Revolution. Look at that. Yes, we are uh, definitely we'll trying see. to take our country back, and if I can get the whole panel on it, we'll... Try to get shirts for everybody. And I think the whole idea of taking our country back, it is, oh, Ron Paul, whole permit. Is that take my that sign? sign? You can take this with you. So oh, I can still be a Republican and not be ashamed. <laughs> you can. <laughs> yes. He cured my apathy. <laughs> yes. So I want you to take your supplies, go out and help spread, and I've even got some Slim Jim for you. Thank you, because as, as I leave here, I will tell you, I'm going to tell people about Ryan Paul. There is no reason why we should not know about him. Go down to channel 1521. <laughs> 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 Yellow is your collar. Okay. And I'm going to talk to the cameraman on my way out. <laughs> well, that was that was great. Now I just have to get the rest of you guys on board, and uh, I'm almost there. <laughs> no, I think I am. I think I am. Oh, good. Uh, you'll be my next one, uh, Michael. I, I don't know how I'm ever going to get you. It, it struggles with you just to get you registered to vote. Well, I got to throw this in real quick. If any of you guys just get on Ron Paul. 2008.com because that's what I did like her and it's any issue you have you know it, it does and, and, and I think if you start to compare it with his voting record that's when you start that's, to really get impressed so that's 20 years of voting because you go on anyone's site they're all going to say nice on the issues but yeah. look at the voting record yeah, yeah. does it compare to what they're saying mm. and some of them not so much some a little bit him all the way all the way what he says You'll see his voting record match it. it it's pretty amazing that we're, we're going to have, for the first time in my political history, a non-flip-flopper, I guess we could call him. Um, he doesn't flip-flop. He's been preaching, which is ironic enough, you look at some of his videos 20 years ago, same thing he's been saying today. So it's pretty funny to see a man that can never get news time but still continue with his voice. And it looks like we're almost out of time. Uh, is there anybody want to say anything and wrap it up? Uh, I, I think I might have dozed off here. I, uh, <laughs> uh, I just woke up and, and I have a dream. And I was dreaming about Ron Paul. Oh, good. I have a dream. <laughs> we definitely want you to uh, dream about that. <laughs> <laughs> My sweetest dream. Time. My sweetest dream. Well, I'm looking forward to our... Uh, our follow-up program where we're going to begin to zero in on more of these issues, more particular stands that Ron Paul has taken, which his voting record has typified for these 20 years. Questions of foreign affairs, questions of monetary reform. Uh, he's been the product of sound bites and snippets. And so when you hear something like, he wants to abolish the IRS, <laughs> you know, and it's just an isolated sound bite, it sounds absurd. I got to shut up to that one only because all the rest of them are using abolish the IRS and my guy had it first. Oh, I agree. <laughs> I agree. But they would also sound equally as ludicrous if they weren't given the extra time to say, well, I want to put in a flat tax in its place. Oh, we'll talk about flat tax. Whereas, like whereas Dr. Tax. Paul gets no opportunity to say why or how it is that he would expect we should be able to eliminate it. So those are the things we need to do in the future. And we will get into that. And I hope if anybody has any questions, comments, or suggestions, please email us at stupidpolitics 
at AOL, I'm sorry, at yahoo.com. And I want to thank my panel again for being here. I'm glad you can wake up, Michael. And oh, <laughs> that's why it's called stupid. <laughs>